What's going on guys? Welcome to CB Sports. Some NFL teams are expected to have success every season and contend for titles. The Patriots, for one, have played in eight Super Bowls since 2001, and the defending Super Bowl champion Eagles are expected to compete for years to come. Sometimes, however, a team will come out of nowhere to become a Super Bowl contender and then seemingly disappear as soon as they came. One team, the 1998 Atlanta Falcons, is one of these teams. They were a one-year wonder. To understand why they were so unexpected in 1998, you have to look back to 1996 when they went 3-13 and and had a league-worst defense and a subpar offense. In 1997, they were better. They went 7-9, and which was partly because of improved quarterback play as journeyman Chris Chandler replaced Bobby Herbert as the primary starting quarterback and he reached the Pro Bowl. Running back Jamal Anderson eclipsed 1,000 yards, but they were in the bottom third of the league in defense and middle linebacker Jesse Tuggle was the only Pro Bowler on the team in addition to Chandler. Going into 1998, the Falcons had only reached the playoffs twice since 1983. Their 2-1 start promoted mild optimism, but neither of their victor victories were super impressive. But as the season wore on, the Falcons began to look like contenders. They finished 14-2 and, and locked up a first round bye. Jamal Anderson rushed for 1,800 yards and Chris Chandler had the best season of his career. They also boasted three defensive pro bowlers and both their offense and defense ranked in the top five in the league. They began the playoffs with a win over the 49ers in the divisional round and met up with the Minnesota Vikings in the NFC Championship. Minnesota went 15-1 and boasted the best offense of all time. They also had three players with four plus interceptions on defense. They were a favorite to win the Super Bowl. Unsurprisingly, Minnesota held a seven point lead in, late in the fourth quarter when their kicker Gary Anderson missed a field goal. It didn't seem like a big deal except for the fact that this was his first miss of the season. It completely deflated the team. Atlanta would score the tying touchdown with 49 seconds left on a Chris Chandler touchdown pass and legendary kicker Morton Anderson kicked the game winning field goal in overtime. This set up a Super Bowl between the Falcons and the Broncos, who also won 14 games during the regular season. John Elway proceeded to lead the Broncos to a 34-19 victory in which Denver led by as many as 25 points, their second straight title. Atlanta fell back to earth the next season with a 5-7 record and failed to return the playoffs in 2000 with a 4-12 record. At this point, it was very clear that Atlanta was not a contender and didn't return to the playoffs until Michael Vick got them back in 2002. The 1998 Falcons will forever be remembered as a huge one-year wonder. Thanks for watching.